Tonight, we've got some GY6, an old GY6 that is basically freaking toasted. And uh, I've got some tools here on the table. I'll show you. You guys gotta see this. Look at this GY6. You see how burnt that, somebody didn't use like the OEM Chinese oil and toasted this thing so hot. Then we've got our uh, tools, GY6 special tools with some visual aids, of course. So we're gonna do that tonight. Let's get this party started. I'm gonna show you guys what each one of these tools does. So this right here is a uh, bushing remover. The GY6, the, the bushings go out a lot of times uh, because they're cheap Chinese ones. Not a lot, but when they do, you upgrade to like polyurethane, like a Tata bushing, and this tool makes life really easy. You could do a sockets and a bolt, but this is a tool. I'll show you how that works here. If you're ever doing a starter clutch on a GY6, you're gonna need this castle tool. It's like a deep castle tool. That normally comes in our kit, but if you need it by itself, we, we have that. Show you how that works. You got your clutch and flywheel holding tool. This thing's cool, it's adjustable. You can use it for all kinds of different app applications. Um, I'll show you how that works. And then you got your flywheel puller. This side is GY6, the other side's QMB139. So GY6 50cc and GY6 150. You just flip it around, super easy. And then you've got your, if you're ever doing a uh, crankshaft on your GY6, you're gonna need to pull the starter gear off. And then you got your, if you're doing a valve adjustment, you're gonna need this guy. You don't need it, but it makes life easy. Some of these things you need, some you don't, and it just makes your life a little easier. So I've pulled, you know, this is the side of the GY6 that you, you have your uh, stator and everything on. And uh, I've pulled that cover off, obviously. And there, you see this crazy looking castle nut tool. See that? That's what that's for. Goes over the, uh, you'll, if you ever do a starter clutch, you're definitely gonna need this for sure. Um, and you notice how I'm moving this around like this? That normally doesn't happen whenever you have a piston in your engine. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little different. This engine is a complete pile of crap. I just purely have it for this video. So the, the starter clutch has this weird castle nut, and we're gonna put that sucker on there and loosen that, and I'll just show you basically how the tool works. It's pretty obvious. It's just a socket that's shaped like a castle. And uh, the other thing about that is it's reverse thread. So, so we're gonna loosen to tighten and tighten to loosen. There it is. You definitely need this tool. There's no way around it. I mean, I, I've cut a socket out one time when I was in dire need to make it look like that, but that's the castle nut starter clutch tool. That comes off of there. Look how bad this engine is. Jesus, this is unbelievable. Look how black all that is. Cheese and crackers. I've never seen a GY6 this bad. So if you've ever heard anybody say GY6 are baloney and they suck and they break down, uh, this is a perfect example of they don't suck and they don't break down. Now the electrical on a GY6 scooter, different story. Or the rubber bushings on the engine, different story. But inside the engine, these things are bulletproof. I don't care what anybody says. So there's that tool, castle nut tool. We have this socket, okay? This one's a little beat up, but on the website we have this socket. And on one side it's a 39, on the other side it's a 41. This is the ultimate socket that you would need to loosen one of these, or say you had another scooter. See, it doesn't fit that way, but it's a two-in-one deal. So you're gonna need that. When you go to loosen this freaking thing, 
There's a, there's this spring under here, so don't loosen it and lose your freaking tooth on it. Okay, there's a lot of pressure under here. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. And you definitely need that socket. If, if you don't have this one, then you gotta go to like the auto parts store or something. So what I do, I'll get her on there. I'm gonna put my feet like that. Okay, bam, pull that up. So this is the uh, bushing remover tool. This will probably work on any scooter, not just GY6, but it's specifically made for GY6. So I'm gonna unscrew this. It comes with the bushing for some reason. And then you got another little, this is kind of a universal deal, so you can use this for all kinds of different sizes. But this is it, this is what it looks like. What you need to do is, so here's your tool. You'll slide this through here. The idea is you're gonna pull this through. See how that goes around the, uh, it kind of like goes around the, like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten. I'm gonna bring this guy like this. Okay, that just holds it up against the, the edge right there. All right, so here's the, uh, Here's how it works. We're going to tighten this down. And our bushing is out. Okay, so we're going to install a bushing. Let's go ahead and do that with our special tool number 5-1 or 6 -er. So We're going to remove this. So all we got to do is we got to pull that bushing through. So here's the bushing, this is basically the old one. So we would want to, I'm gonna get it set up right up right up here. Whoa, don't hit the neon in the background. So I'm gonna slide this thing through like that. And then I'm gonna take this guy, screw it onto the back. So I'm just gonna get it dialed in, line these up like this. You want to make sure though, the other thing you should, you should make sure of is that you've got this thing back here pretty damn tight because you don't want to be, have it being held by a few threads. And then I'm, it's, so if you notice here, it's got a little window so I can look in there and make sure that I'm lined up. So we grab my 16 millimeter and then we're just going to drive her in there. Until it's lined up, basically. Okay, new bushing installed. See how that looks? That's not the new one, that's the old one, but that's the way it works. Very, very cool, very, very easy. Easy tool. Flywheel holding tool, I'll show you how to use that in a little bit. And then we've got, uh, well, well, we've got the flywheel puller and then the valve adjuster tool and then we've got this guy I'll show you how that works let's do that next so here's like the the drive here if, and you got your variator here like if you were doing a variator you right behind your variator is the starter gear now if you're removing your kickstart you definitely don't want to remove this gear this serves as a like a spacer but what if you need to do a crankshaft that needs to come off and it's nearly impossible to get off unless you have the special tool, which is this guy here. So this is like the little ring that kind of holds these halves together like that. Okay, I'll slide that over. So here is the tool, just like this, okay. And that goes over the top. I'm gonna make sure this is loose, of course. And then this little ring is gonna hold it so it doesn't fall all apart. I'm just gonna make sure this is all tight. All we're gonna do is this is this is holding, getting down to the crankshaft. So I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna hit this. Well, that wasn't a very good demonstration because 
I installed that before the uh, live here, but that's what you do. It came off super freaking easy. And then your gear is in there, of course. So to install this guy, see how it's tapered? See how that taper is? And also the crankshaft is tapered. You'll just put that sucker on, you'll install your variator and crank it to spec, and now this guy is on. That's how that works. So do you guys understand how that works? That goes in there just like that. This goes over the top. And then you've got your, so basically this guy is just pushing into the, the crank end, and that end is pulling from there. So that's the special tool. Special tool number 99156er. JK. Okay, next one, we've got your, if you, so if you're doing a valve adjustment, so this is, uh, this is a head off of a GUI 6, but if you're familiar with the valve adjustment, you've got your lock nut there, nine millimeter nut, and that'll crank it down. So this is kind of like a two in one tool like this. So I, what I would do is I would stick my feeler gauge in there. Once I got it proper, I would just hold this and not move it, and then turn this, and then you turn that and it would lock it down. You see what I'm doing there? So if I hold this, I could loosen this guy, but the top nut doesn't move because I'm holding it with my finger. So I move this, hold this stationary, and lock it down. So that is a valve adjustment tool for the GY6 and QMB 139. They come as a little set like that. Here is our other engine. And I'm going to show you how to use the flywheel holding tool. Let me grab some tools really quick. I need an 8 millimeter and a 17 millimeter. All right, so if you're trying to get to your stator, which tell, you're going to have a cover over this, which we already have that um, removed. And then you've got these bolts. So if you ever do this, keep these bolts together because nothing's worse than putting the wrong bolt in your engine and then it's too long and it goes right into your stator. So oopsie. Okay. So we gotta get that 17 millimeter off of there. Off of your so this is what you call your magneto. And you can just hold it. There we go. Now you can't just pull this off. This thing is pressed on. So if you didn't have an impact, here's our flywheel holding tool. Show you this. Back up just a little, little bit here. And you see these little, these little holes here? So what I could do is I can open the flywheel tool. You can use these when you, on a variator. You can use these on anything that wants to spin, basically. See how there's two different sizes? You got that guy, and then on the other side, a very universal tool. It's not just for GY6. Here's our flywheel holding tool. So I can just hold that there, just like that, and grab a socket, and then you would use this to torque it down, too. So that holds it in place while you loosen this if you don't want to do it with an impact. So that's what this tool does. It just holds the variator, the flywheel, whatever you don't want to spin. But what you do is you'll... So you can adjust the knob here to spread it open further. You can turn this, get it dialed in, and go like that. See how it's locked down now? So does that make sense? You could hold this sucker like that, and then you grab your socket and wrench, and you can loosen this nut without having to have an impact. You can use that to torque down, torque it down as well, and then it also works for the transmission or the uh, the bell, clutch bell. You can hold it just like that, hit, grab a wrench, crank it, loosen it. So now we got to get this sucker off. And like I said, it's got two different sizes, QMB 139 or GY6. You want to make sure that this, this guy's all the way unscrewed. And uh, this is a reverse thread as well. So loosen to tighten, tighten to loosen. Get it all the way in here because the threads are super thin on these guys. So. I'm just going to hit it. Doesn't take much at all. Really easy. 
I'm telling you, it looks easy to get off if you didn't have the tool, but that's how you do that. Cool thing is, is I've got this light and flywheel. Huh? A light and flywheel. We're going to install that. That's, that's good. I'm doing two birds with one stone. Light and flywheel. You noticed it's been shaved down the side. So, sweet. Don't forget your little washer is in here. There's a washer in here. There we go. Tighten that sucker down. There is a torque setting, but I'm just showing you how to do that. I feel very comfortable with this gun. So that's the flywheel tool, flywheel holding tool. And I think you guys have seen all the tools. So here's our light and flywheel. That's an eight magnet. So if you're gonna upgrade, I recommend doing this because it's already lightened. Performance upgrade. It's an eight magnet, so you can't see the magnets, but there's eight of them inside here. Those tools are sweet.